In this video, let us find a solution for this by creating another pool. Now to create an another pool, you need to go to the manage section and you need to create a new pool. Here I'm going to create a new pool that is the medium pool. Now I'm selecting that as the memory optimize. I'm fine going with the medium pool and that is having eight V cores and 64 GB of size. And let me disable this auto scaling and let me just make it as the three nodes as the maximum and be very sure when doing this because you will be incurred cost for both types of pools in case both are in running state let me just review and create so here to create this pool there is a prerequisite so you need to increase your quota for your workspace so what i mean is let me just show you the documentation here you can see quotas and resource constraints in the Apache Spark for Azure Synapse. Here every Azure Synapse workspace comes with a default quota of V cores to use the Spark. The quota is split between user quota and the data flow quota. So neither usage pattern uses up all the V cores. So let's go to the workspace and let's click on this develop and let's go to the previous notebook let's click on this gear icon the one which you're seeing over here you can see configure session here you can see there are four v cores and three nodes currently for this notebook i'm making use of 12 v cores so let's note it somewhere so here let's see the notebook on the right and taking the small So here in total, I'm making use of 12 V cores. And that is the reason if you can come here and see the error, it is stating that your job requested 12 V cores, which means again for this particular session, it is asking four into three 12 V cores. However, the pool has zero V cores available left out of the quota of 12 V cores. So in total of the pool size which is actually 12 which is nothing but here four v cores of three nodes which is actually having a maximum size of 12. so all these 12 are actually 100 percent utilized for this specific notebook and you are creating another notebook and you were asking for the same spark pool to run this it is stating that already 12 v cores are already utilized for this particular notebook and there are zero v cores left so the solution is you need to just have the another spark pool and the reason why i am explaining this in particular because here you can see there is a limitation for the spark pool as maximum workspace capacity so here you need to actually request for the capacity here so by default you will be not having much capacity to run two spark pools so what i have done is I requested to increase the quota. So this is the documentation which helps us to request the quota to raise the support request. All you need to do is you need to go to the Azure portal and I already have that. Here you need to go to the help and support. So I already have requested them and here you can see this is to increase the V cores for 80. So I already raised a request to increase the v course quota to 80 for my workspace and this will be specific for the azure synapse analytics for the project synapse now i have the quota capacity of 80 virtual cores here you can see there are 68 v cores available in the workspace which means 12 are already used so out of 80 v cores i am already using 12 v cores for the notebook so i am still left with 68 v cores now i can create another spark pool so that i can make use of that spark pool to another notebook so here i am creating a medium pool and i am attaching that to a child notebook and medium pool comes with eight v cores and i am making use of three nodes at maximum so i'll be using 24 v cores for this particular child notebook so in total of remaining 68 v cores 
I'll be using 24 V cores. And as per the calculation, we should be still left with 24 V cores in our workspace. So this is how with the available total V cores, we are splitting them up for notebook parent and notebook child. And we should be able to run both. And let's see that in practical now. So let me just close this. And by now I should have my medium pool ready. And let me just attach this medium pool. And let me just ensure going to monitor section. And I just need to ensure only one is in currently running. So here this is only currently running and which is in the small spark. Just concentrate on first two over here. These are the other things which are done practical. You can ignore them. So here one got failed and currently one is in running state. And let me just publish this first so that you can understand the notebook names clearly. Okay, now this got published. Let's go to the monitor section. And here, this is our notebook one, which is nothing but the parent notebook that we created. And that is currently having the Spark session running state. Let's go to here and let's ensure that's working or not. Okay, now this is in running state. Now let's go to this 4B notebook child. Here we attach the medium pool and let's run this medium pool. Now, if you go to the monitor section, you should be seeing some request as submitting. Here you can see currently the status is in queued. Let's refresh this again. And currently you can see the status is in submitting state. So let's wait until this is in running state so that we can run the cells inside this particular notebook. And now our Spark pool is in ready and running state. Let's go to the monitor section and see it over here. So here both pools are actually in running state and Let's go to the develop section and now if you want both the pools active and running parallelly attached to a separate notebook, I request you to go and increase the quota and be very sure that you will be built for both the pools parallelly and in case if you are going with increasing the request and running the both. And in case if you are interested, I am going to mention both the links in the resources. You can go ahead and request them. And in the coming video, let's try using the run command to execute this notebook from child notebook.